Hi, David. Hey, Matt. So we're two nerdy idiots, and we're playing a demo today. A demo? Yeah. They... What demo could we possibly be playing? It's not like I'm looking at the actual screen no. right now. Well, I'm excited, because there's a lot of cool demos coming out soon. Like, I mean, we just did the Neo 2 demo, which, uh, if you're watching this, you guys should know is coming up uh, tomorrow or the next day, because this, this should be going live on a Tuesday. So Wednesday or Thursday this week, you guys will see the Neo 2 demo, and then the following week, you'll get a bunch of Neo 2, as David and I go through that. But we've got the Final Fantasy VII Remake demo. What? It's only it's just under an hour long, so it's not very long. We'll just do it all in one in one go. But uh, we also have, of course, the Resident Evil 3 demo. Supposedly, there's going to be one before the release of the game. I forgot about that. They hinted at it, and we're like three weeks out from the game, so it's got to be coming soon. Yeah. Um... But I wanted to play through this for you guys today, especially because I wanted to show it off to David because I'm going to make him sit through and watch the whole game. Uh, God, what punishment you're putting me through for this channel. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there's three difficulties, actually. Uh, there's normal, there's easy, and there's classic. I haven't done classic yet because the, pl the, the player character attacks and defends automatically, meaning that you only have to execute like your your ATB commands um, because it has an active time battle system. I'm curious to try it, but it also makes the game easy mode technically. So we're going to go through normal so we can experience it as is because I'm yeah. going to be playing the game on normal for the channel. So for you guys, we'll just watch yeah. it. So the other way, you kind of just sit back and issue like commands. It's and... a bit more story mode and you'll see what commands I'm talking about here in a moment. Um... So it's almost more like a real-time strategy type thing. A little like, bit, yeah, because the characters... You go attack that guy, you go do this, and I'll just sit here and kind of watch y'all. A little bit. So the AI that you're... So you control one character at all time, and you can switch between them. Oh, it's so pretty. I was going to say, it definitely looks good. I mean, Yeah, because well, they remade this entire... This is the original cutscene from the game. They remade it all in the new HD... And you gotta wonder how long this game has been in development. Like, it's been confirmed for a while. And that's something interesting, because she hears a sound and then stands up. That's that's not from the original. Yeah. Um, now, I imagine a while, seeing as, you know... They had the PS3 tech demo that made people like, let's get this going! Yeah, and it's not like, you know, one of the remasters or something. Like, it's a legitimate Ground remake. Ground up re remake, yeah. Dick. Because isn't it also like the controls and everything? Oh, or, it's, yeah. yeah. So it's not like they just remade like the levels and this, like, no, no. It's every aspect of it is being... Well, that's the exciting, so that's why she, like, that's one of the things that's different in the cutscene. She stands up because she heard a sound. They've expanded on the story. Like, they're like, we're going to bring you the same Final Fantasy VII story, but we're going to expand on stuff to help it make a bit more sense, to help things flow yeah. easier. Because, I mean, they've already confirmed this isn't going to be a one-and-done remake. Yeah. Like, I think some rumors have said it'll take two games. I think the common rumor is that it'll take three. And my guess is that the, the first game will go through all of Midgar, so the city. And then when you get to the big open world, it'll end there, which I think has been confirmed now. That's what I've kept hearing is, yeah, that this, at least this first one, is purely Midgard. Yeah, so, so I, I think they confirmed it that it's all Midgar because Red 13, who's in the original game, he is not a playable character this time because they're like, we couldn't get the AI completely correct for like, or not, they couldn't get it correct, but they didn't want to have to like teach you how to play a new character right before the end of the game. Yeah, it's like, hey, here's this new character, game's over. Yeah, and you meet him right before you leave Midgar. So it makes sense the remake would be all of Midgar, but I have a theory and, and this is all unconfirmed. I have a theory that the second game, I think it'll be a trilogy, and I think the second game will go all the way up to the end of the first disc from the from the original. So the Northern Crater, Genova, all of that for all of you who've played the game before, I think it'll have that in it. And then I think the final game will be all of discs two and three. Because Final Fantasy VII is infamous for having three discs, but, but the, the third disc is like... all end game stuff. Like, it's all... Oh, if you wanted to go get their ultimate weapons, or this or that. But really, you can load up the third disc and just go fight Sephiroth. So, there's no big story in the third disc other than the final fight. So I really... And the second disc is shorter than the first. 
So I really think the final part of this, and we're in now, look at that seamless transition. There's a lot of seamless transitions here. So I didn't actually look last time. Supposedly... I guess I can't enter a menu yet. I saw a, I saw another player enter the menu. I was watching Jack play this, and he entered a menu, and I don't know. Maybe anyway, you have to get to a certain point. For maybe you do, yeah. Tell you the button of how to enter a menu. Well, I've played through this already, and there's that doesn't happen. Ah. Unless I missed it. I could have missed it. But, yeah, so... The way the game works is you control one character, and you essentially spam attack, and you can unleash it in different modes. You're coming with us. Nice and easy. Don't think so. Which, that sounded like Mercer. It might not have been, but it sounded just like him. Well, that was a quick level up. <laughs> yeah, so Cloud has two sword modes. So he has the regular one, and then he has the Punisher one. But your ATB bar builds up, and that is what allows you to do spells and, like, harder attacks. And so I think the command mode Pull is... It does the regular stuff, and you just press and you pick you what wanna... special actions and spells you want to use when you use it, yeah. which makes sense because it allows for you to more easily switch between characters. Yeah, but yeah. So he has uh, regular mode. So this is them explaining the ATB gauge, which is the blue bar at the bottom. So he has his regular attacks like that, but then if you push triangle, he enters into uh, Punisher mode, which is much faster and a little bit heavy heavier damage but he doesn't block ranged attacks oh there we go i missed it the last time <laughs> so let's actually look at the menu because i wanted to look at the menu i didn't do this last time well you're level seven <laughs> he's got spells because he's got them so they don't teach you how to change materia in the game which is how you change who has what spells um they also, I, I like that I can see they've included the weapon, accessor, or weapon d armor, accessory like they did last time. It's great. Um, here's the manual. I'm very excited for this game. <laughs> uh, very excited. But no, so I think, I think this game will go all the way through Midgar. I think the second one will take you up to the Northern Crater. The and then I think the third game will deal with the, defeating the weapons and Cloud's backstory and Sephiroth. Like, I think it'll be easily broken up in those three, but we'll see. I like how they completely ignore the people running behind them talking. <laughs> oh, the whole time. Like, we're just gonna stop. Oh, you. there's a third guy. Oh, God, not security officer C. And so when you do this, it actually slows time down. Not fully, but it lets you kind of get a lay of the battlefield so when you're picking your yeah commands well there goes officer c i know i barely knew him and there's chests so we can walk up and get this chest what and he actually uses his hand he doesn't just kick it open like other video game characters yeah it's so respectful it's just, it's so, like, the lighting in this game is exquisite. And the music is really good. Like, this is just giving me all the flashbacks to playing mm -hmm. this. Because David's never played through a Final Fantasy game. When we were kids, I made you sit through the whole first disc of the seventh game, of this game. Because <laughs> I wanted to show you the, the a certain cutscene. Because kids, back in the day... <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't just go to the internet and be like, There hey, wasn't hey. YouTube. Yeah, we had to literally... It's like, well, the cutscene I want to show you is about 10 hours in, so... so we're uh... going to have a sleepover, and you're going to spend 10 hours watching me play this. Um, but the lighting is so good, and the character designs are perfect. Um, but I am excited to see how they expand on Midgar. Yeah. Because they're going to expand on these three characters, which I'm excited about. Because I always felt they got a raw deal. I, you know, oh, they didn't get enough screen Cloud, time. Cloud strife. Right. Especially Jesse. Jesse's great. Still, Jesse's best girl. Professional, unlike the rest of us. Other than Tifa. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. And I love that they kept Cloud's like stoic aspect because he's very stoic for throughout most of the first game, or the first 
part of the game. And now you get to hear very, very loud Barrett. Probably the angriest man in video gaming history. Kratos before Kratos. But you know what I think? Okay. If Kratos was an eco-terrorist, that would be Barrett. I was about to say, if you're more angry than K uh, Kratos, then you are definitely angry. <laughs> Which? Uh, well, and I think Barrett's pissed off for a couple reasons. One, he's a father, and he's a responsible father, who wants his daughter to grow up in a world that works. Be worth the Two, his arm's a gun. Which comes from part of his backstory, which is pretty good and pretty tragic. Like, Barrett's a very... People make fun of Barrett for being a loud, annoying character, but Barrett's a really good character, and he's got a great plotline. Like, because he's a dad, he wants to he wants to take on a corporation to save the world so his daughter has a world to grow up in. I mean, come on. Yeah. He just has a couple of anger issues. Yeah. And rightly so. Because the world is pissed. Ooh, not the guy dogs. It's always the dogs. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know L1 was shortcuts. So you could do it without slowing down the game. Nice. That's something I didn't know. I like that. Yeah, especially like if you already kind of have like what you're planning on doing. Hey! Looks like you're next. Yep. Come on, security officer, no name. Y'all should really right. stop I using want, the guns. I want to see if I can program the shortcuts. I don't think I'm allowed to right now. Yeah. Probably all full game stuff. This is just all the basic... Uh... <laughs> Which sucks, because I would love to be able to put fire in his shortcuts. Yeah. In time, my friend, in time. Like, if I could do that, that'd be great. Because, yeah, there's a couple of things they obviously don't let you do here in the demo. Did I get that? No. There's a couple of things they don't let you do here in the demo, which makes sense. Yeah. After all, it is a demo. Yeah, but the game comes out in in a month. Like, we are now a month out. We're in the end game. <laughs> yeah. Where are you at? Come get some, doggo. Go ahead and use spells. Burn, burn baby, burn. Guard dog inferno. And he's a tough guard dog. So when they take stack, when they get staggered, they take 160 percent damage, from what I can tell. Granted, he looks more like a displacer beast than a guard dog. They really do. They do. Just with one tentacle instead of two. Yeah. The... Nice to see y'all are still going the easy route. <laughs> Wait to leave me do all the work down here. <laughs> Just because I got a big ass sword. So one of the things I enjoy, it's a small detail. You can see the materia in his sword. Yeah. Like I like that. That's cool. Music definitely makes you want to just fuck some shit up. Oh, the music is great. Yeah. Just gets you all pumped up. Yeah, the music for Final Fantasy VII is, is some of my personally favorite so music. Partly for a nostalgia aspect, but also because it just, like you said, it gets you ready for battle. I've thought about using it a couple of times for D&D. Uh, &D. Yeah. You know, you guys are more than welcome to help out. Like, y'all had guns. I'm pretty sure you could shoot through the chain link fence. There we go. Oh. I was like, I don't think it's dead. I thought it was dead. <laughs> no, just I got the around. experience from killing the guard, uh, and I thought... Yeah. Bye, guard dog A. And I like that, like, they've put specific, like, things. He just he just did that naturally. I didn't have to push a command button for him to do that. 
his character model just bent in and went through the fence. I don't know what you're offering for the, they're offering you for this mission, but I feel like you need to ask for a bigger price. Yeah, probably. You're doing all the work here. <laughs> but no, I like so the battle system they've done here, so the original, you know, is like a Yeah. You know. Old school three person party ATB Final Fantasy, like original JRPG format. This is, of course, is a more action-oriented yeah. ATV JRPG. Um, and I enjoy that. I, I think they really nailed it with the practice they got from Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy XV. People give Final Fantasy XV's battle system a lot of crap, but I think it really set the stage for this. Yeah. Allowed them to learn some lessons. Stab scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little dog? See, he's loud. Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. I mean, I've different reactor, different layout. done all the work so far, so... Built. Never seen one like this. I think, a, I think a large part of Barrett's problems with Cloud is uh, he sees Cloud still as a Shinra employee. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. That's part of the problem and not part of the solution. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. Hey, Jesse. How's it going? Don't you worry. Define. Biggs will have the door open soon. Define soon. Nice day for fishing. <laughs> they actually started a Kickstarter for that to make it a. Uh, Did they really? Yeah. To make it like its own little uh, <laughs> short flick. <laughs> oh Jesus. And here Barrett got locked out again. Yep. That's my line. Hey David, he's gonna say what you said. In a moment. Gotcha. So here's them teaching you about how to switch modes. Telling you, you know, you can't guard against range or magic in this. We can take it. Take it right. oh, yo, look how quickly he just cuts through this regular security. Yeah. It's a good thing this guy was alone. You sure could, could take him. Cut it out. So another thing this game is infamous for, of course, is Cloud's Buster Sword, how big it is. Yeah. Funny thing is, I was reading an interview that said in the original game, they had actually planned for him to have a more regular sword, and he was going to have black hair, um, but the character design changed because they wanted to set him apart as the protagonist. And the more that the game changed to try to show like he was the protagonist, especially because of the 3D character models, the sword got bigger. <laughs> And so even the creator of the game, like, the, the creative director is like, yeah, we kind of just started referring to it as a big butter knife. Pretty much. Practically, you know, dragging on the floor as he runs. Thankfully, he's got, like, that half a foot of clearance. Yeah. If he was just a little bit shorter. So, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Why are you asking? Yeah, why do you want to know? Why do you want to know, Jesse? Just kind of out of nowhere. Are you are you digging my form? Are you enjoying my body? Wow, cock block. I know. And with the gun arm. I know. So this is a new cutscene. This was not in the original game. This is brand new, and this is again making me excited. Because they're fleshing out part of the story. And I love it. These sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. I mean, you could probably just drop the elevator. This pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you shit, it's here sucking up Marco. It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care. You do realize what Marco is, don't you? I just realized you can see the materia Marco on Barrett's gun, world. too. I love it! The it's the details. Green, like you and me bleed red. The hell you 
you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! Uh, you know, there's a such thing as an inside voice. You can't hear the plan crying out in pain? We're in I an elevator. You, you really hear that? Damn straight I do. Get help. <laughs> oh. Say that again. He said I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. And this is how the beautiful friendship starts. They become, in my opinion, they become BFFs. I mean, somebody finally stood up to him. In the original game, you can actually take Barrett out on a date. Because there's a, there's a, a, a date cutscene in the original game. And... Depending on what you do, well, so you can take Tifa or Eris or I just found out can't reach. Barrett. I didn't know you could take Barrett on a date. It's great. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? Anything for you, Jesse. <laughs> Should have asked for more money. There it is. <laughs> yeah. joined he's great I love Barrett so yeah so you can switch to Barrett I mean some pretty heavy duty sentries Sentry down! Yep. Oh no! Bear it! I don't, I don't know what you're saying, Mono Drive. A, B, and C. But they're dead. <laughs> yeah, so that's how you do it. You can swap between characters just at the click of a button. In combat. Out of combat, you jump back to Cloud. Um, but you can issue commands to each two. So while he's running around, his AI will shoot and stuff. And I can then use the command menu to scroll over to him and be like, Use your thunder spell. And then I'll keep attacking his Cloud. Nice, nice. I'm curious if the shortcut menu extends to the other characters, too. I should look at that in the next battle. Well, just don't step in the lasers. Pretty much. And granted, that's a lot of space between the lasers that if you didn't have a big-ass sword... Yeah, but our sword is so big. Yeah. Barret is so big. Yeah, Barret would be kind of screwed. You, I feel like, still could go through the middle one, even with your sword. <laughs> Like, as a security system, you really want less space between your lasers. Yeah. HA! Maybe, you know, some horizontal lasers. Oh, I made it through. I made it through. You're disappointing her. Like the new guy's kind of an idiot. He's walking in the lasers after I told him not to. Uh oh, mini boss. Uh oh. Not a gun dog. A gun dog. <laughs> Hold on, there's a chest over here. Let me get this chest. Hold on, just. If you don't look at it, then uh, that's the way it works, right? <laughs> Obviously. If you, if you don't look its way, then it doesn't notice you. Oh yeah, look at that. We say as we rush in.
Oh, he doesn't have enough yet. Bringing the heat. Oh, he brought the heat right back. Thunder! Thunder strike! Give it every last bullet in your arm. <laughs> Staggered. Now's our chance. Go. No need to tell me twice. I'm gonna enjoy this. We we can tell. Look at us just destroying this thing. Yeah. Poor gun dog didn't stand a chance. Nope, not at all. The shortcut, that was a loud shortcut. The shortcut does make it a lot easier to um, get through the battle quicker. Yeah. It, it'll be nice once you can customize it, because like I would love it if Barrett could use his materia from the shortcut. I hope that they put in a way for you to also, because they've done it in the past with other Final Fantasy games and like Kingdom Hearts and stuff, to control the behaviors, like the aggressiveness because, like, I would like it if Barrett was a bit more aggressive in building up his ATB. Yeah. Like, dude, you got a freaking machine gun. Use it. <laughs> That's our target. The reactor core. Well, and it might be their That's way of the making bomb. you That's switch through, because if I play as him, he builds it up faster. Yeah. But Cloud builds it up slower, so I think it might be you have to switch more. Yeah. Kind of, you know. Like, otherwise you're just going to keep playing as just, like, one character. I mean, which I want to do, so... Yeah. Because well, it's much easier, in my mind, to play as one character and then to issue the commands to the rest. But that's also more command mode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Hold on before we... Oh, choosing me over the reactor? Hell yeah. Blow, blow your mind later. What's up? Do I need to tell I'm Tifa? building head cannon. Cloud's gonna hit on Jesse. Do I need to tell Tifa about this? That'll be interesting if they'll let you build romances throughout the first game. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, so that shows, like, he beat it, and then it went to this. Like, yeah. it went back to Cloud. Ah! Yeah. Punisher mode is just way too good. Like, I kind of feel like we'd be long dead before we ever reach the core. <laughs> if it weren't for- oh, for falling through. <laughs> Ha! Got a Mako shard. Yep. Covered some MP. I know. I know we got work to do, but there's boxes, and you have to destroy boxes. No, go down. Well, look at y'all getting extra close on the ladder. I know. It's cuddle time. Boss battle. That's when, that's when the true romance budded. Oh, for sure. We shared a ladder together that one day. I think people are very excited to see what comes after this, because this is the demo that you've seen since, like, day one, once they announced the combat. Yeah. You always saw this boss battle. Yeah. It'd definitely be All fun right. to see something new. See really That's why I was happy like with, like, the Neo beat. demo, that it was a different level, because mm. I was like, I don't want it to just Do be the, the same exact as the beta. Proof like, Because well, that's what they did with the first Neo, was the beta was the same as the demo, if I recall. I'm just here for the paycheck. Which needs to be bigger. Just you saying. Do the damn job. Well, hand it over. Barrett, you need a Snickers. You're not yourself when you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
Uh oh. Don't you hate when you get a migraine? Yes, very much so. Well, that can't be good. Thankfully, I don't see things when I get my migraines. I think. You don't get delusions? I'm what pretty sure I don't. But then again, you how would I know? Work. So I'm curious. So I've picked 20 minutes before, and it's very easy to get through in 20 minutes. I'm curious, because the timer doesn't actually set until after the boss battle, but you don't set it. It just turns on. I'm wondering if you pick 30, what Barrett says. Because if you pick 20, Barrett's like, oh, you're a cocky son of a bitch, aren't you? So I'm curious what he says if you pick 30. But I'm also curious if you still only end up with 20. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Huh. That long enough for you? Alright. So you're too cocky if you pick 20, but you're not good enough if you pick 30. You double crossing. So we go for 25. <laughs> Heads up. What in the hell? Because it would have been much cooler if the timer started during the boss battle. Yeah. But it doesn't. Ah! It's got Ooh. Reinforced armor uh, Cloud needs to heal. Yes, don't die. Otherwise you can't get your, your money. Get your red dot off of me! <laughs> oh, come here. Dun, 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 oh, dun. oh. I mean, you got, you got most of that potion. <laughs> well, duh. Isn't that why we brought a whole team? I need Barret to heal Cloud. Yeah, that's more like it. Get out of that red. Keep it up. So the shortcuts are interesting that way, but. I kind of like the slowdown a little bit. It helps out. Yeah. Maybe like a, uh, an, an announcer for your own fight there, Barrett. <laughs> yeah. Did you see how much damage I just dealt? Your brilliant plan, genius. I guess I should shoot the field generator. I was gonna say, pretty sure his plan involved shooting. <laughs> it's immune. Time for plan B. Probably be using thunder on it. Maybe. Right. I right. Mean you can agree for one spirit. Yeah. Then again. Nope. nope. Still immune. <laughs> ooh. Ooh. That looks. That looks painful. Oh shit. Sure. After you get shot in the face by a rocket, right? <laughs> again and again. I got this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Not good. Not good. <laughs> no. Here's that potion. Oh. The I was doing much better last time. The downside to bringing a sword to a fight with something that's just made of guns. 
and rockets. Barret, do something! Shoot, you're the man with the range. Ooh. Focus and find a way. The lightning. Electro Stomp. Gotta heal up. Another barrier? What a Got surprise. Dead. I was trying to break out, but no more uh, first, potion. Potion. And now limit break. Where'd he go? Oh, you hit him up onto the wall. I hit him so hard he disappeared. Unfortunately, his rockets didn't disappear. Get back here, you scorpion sentinel. Stop with the lightning. <laughs> right? Please? Just a little bit? Barret, please use something good. Yeah, it'll be nice to see if in the main game they actually, you know. Uh, you got him halfway. There, attack it from the rear. I sold you, boy. Show me what you got. I have been. <laughs> Oh, glad I healed. Yeah, as you just took every rocket to the back. Mm. Luckily, they gave you a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I can tell. When you get here in the real game, it's like, here's your two healing potions. Well, they didn't give you a lot in the last game, but I feel like because this game is more... Yeah, the way it's set up. ...action-oriented. Yeah. Imagine they'll definitely give you a lot more. Particularly if this is the kind of health you get to go through for the bosses. <laughs> oh, yeah. So alright, alright. Damn you! I didn't realize we had to hit it in the, in the taint. So now that I know I have to hit it in the taint. I mean, let's just boss... Tactics. Boss logic, right? Yeah, 101. Hit it in the taint. Roll, roll, roll. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, we're entering, I think, the last phase. Yep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I, mean, I guess that's one way to stop you. Just blow everything up that you're yeah, in. Yeah, protect the reactor by destroying the reactor. I mean, that's... That's what happens when you, uh, you know, rely on giant machines to, uh, be your whole guarding system. Good thing that metal was able to take all that, uh, laser beam. I mean, don't egg it on. I know, right? Roll, 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 roll. I keep hitting ah. X to dodge, which is a big problem. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Don't, oh no. Don't forget the butt. <laughs> oh. Heal. <laughs> I was gonna say, forget all about the butt, just heal. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Bear it. Lightning it. How nice of you to drop more convenient cover. Bring it. Destroy! Before it fires again. Oh, I'm sure it'll fire it again. It's still got a lot of health left. <laughs> I should be about to get... See, I keep hitting X. Yeah. Probably could have saved yourself a couple of healing potions if, uh... Oh. Yeah. Need to heal up soon. 
Cloud might die in a moment if I'm not careful. Ah, uh, ah, uh, you really, uh, you son of a bitch. Oh, uh, that sucks so bad. <laughs> oh, I just healed Barrett with his own spell. Oop. And I guess it gives you time to heal. It does, yeah. I was doing much better when playing this on my own. <laughs> you know how it is when you have an audience. <laughs> Plus you have that overconfidence of having done it before. <laughs> okay. Potion. Me. <laughs> yes. Barret. Heal. Me! <laughs> the one who needs the heal. I think this is the first time Cloud's been over 500 <laughs> HP in a while. Well, then hide. <laughs> Comes like, all I gotta do is hide, right? As I stand out in the open shooting. <laughs> oh, there we go. Finally. I know, I was like, you're so close. Man, that meter's going down quick. That's definitely one, uh, tough scorpion. <laughs> Does not stay staggered long. So many different attack types. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Alright, the final phase. As we now have to take out its legs. Because it's just shooting everything in every direction. Uh, I'm tangled in the cords! Oh god. Just like clouds tangled in all the explosions. Does the opening consist of getting shot in the face? Ooh. That was Bear a good one. Heal! Cloud! Did not let him die. It's down. Rain hell on it. Rain the hell. There goes another. Now's our chance to do some real damage. It's so close. So it. close. Oh, uh, nope. Nope. There, there we, we go. go. Whew. Level A. Don't you self-destruct. It's not necessarily self-destruct. Or blow up. Or anything. Laser of death! Hey! I feel like that did more damage than our actual bomb did. Yeah. So see, that's what happens. So it does keep you 30 minutes. It's just does whatever you told it to do. Yeah. But you only really need 10 minutes to escape from the place. Like, mm. even with exploring it. Yeah. I feel like all that would have set that bomb off. <laughs> Just a little bit. But yeah, definitely nice of the uh, bomb to just now activate. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, we would have been long dead. Da -da -da. I mean, you're kind of sharing a ladder together again. Just gotta look at that ass, though. Yeah. I mean, ugh, gotta gotta escape. Just gotta get out of here before we blow to pieces. Yep, yep, sure, Mono Drive. I agree. Where'd you go? I don't know. He just phased right through you. Yeah, he just penetrated right up in there. As Barrett's just left you in the dust. Barrett, how dare you leave me behind, you son of a bitch. Like, sorry, if you die, I don't gotta pay you. It's not wrong. Yeah, the Merc life. Sometimes you get paid, sometimes you get left to blow up. Sometimes a pipe almost crushes you. Jesse! No! I'm coming for you, Jess! If this pipe holds, it doesn't sound too secure. 
I got this. I can do it. I can make. Here we go. All the finger strength. Do I look okay? Help a girl out, would you? Well, I'm trying. It's a very heavy piece of concrete. Yeah. What do you look? What do I look like? Somebody uh, used to lifting like heavy over? chunks of. Uh, <laughs> Not like the sword I carry weighs anything. Come this way. This route should lead us straight to Barrett, probably. Well, I like the confidence. If like it, the probably. <laughs> if it doesn't, then you know we're only screwed. So no pressure. Da -da -da -da. I'm not looking back, I'm opening a chest for two potions. Yeah. Because as we just saw, I used like 12 in that battle. Yeah, you can't leave the stuff behind. We're running out of time. Shut up and climb. We're, not we're Sorry, really I'm not running out of time. I love the music. It's so good. Nice of you to get the shorter ladder, Barrett. <laughs> Barrett! I've got you covered! Find us a way out of here! But then... Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got Soldier Boy with me. <laughs> X, Soldier Boy. They're here! Take them down! We don't have time for this shit! The clock's ticking! Cool it. Five seconds is all we need. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. I mean, it might have been a little more than five seconds, but it was pretty close. It's pretty close, yeah. I mean, in the grand scale of things, I mean, Barrett, look. You still pretty much have most of that 30 minutes. Oh god, not another one of you. It's really poor timing, Sweeper. Get you probably don't care if you blow up, but <laughs> the rest of us kind of don't want to be in here. Barrett, I need you to get a thing. Get it? You're like almost there. <laughs> oh, Barrett. <laughs> See how much quicker we took that down this time? Yeah. Now back to dun, running! Dun, 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 dun. Out of the way, boxes. Oh, not you, mono drones. Why do y'all even try? I mean, I get your kind of program, too. Really, Barrett, you only had to take out one. You gonna let the man with the sword jump up and get the flying thing, and you can't just shoot it? <laughs> What's that clicking sound? I thought I heard a clicking sound. Ah! Fuck you, boxes. Good thing all these boxes have potions. Luckily, those lasers turned off. It would be a pain to have to... <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It's a good thing they saved all their best uh, enemies for when you're trying to escape, as opposed to trying to stop you from getting in. Oh, no! Ooh. Watch yourself. I mean, we're still alive, aren't we? For now. It's gonna keep healing, Cloud. Yeah. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, that full HP. Don't screw this up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't screw this up as I attack this desk. Focus thrust! Ooh, that was definitely a focus thrust. 
Oh, oh, they got you flanked. Luckily, they don't get advantage. They're treating you like a boss. They learn to attack the butt. Die, shock trooper, eh? Barrett, what are you doing? Barrett, kill that. Does it have eyeballs? So see, that's what I'm saying. Like, my only gripe so far is the AI of your companions doesn't seem to actually do anything without you. Yeah. And so while control mode is technically, e command mode is technically easy mode, I feel like it'll make for the better experience, honestly. Yeah. As because far it as, like, won't the... be you having to, like, balance smashing square, but then looking at everything. Well, that timer just went away really quickly. Right? That was the explosion? Yeah, we didn't really do a lot of damage. Luckily, luckily, the corporate overlords have our back. Because they're gonna do what, David? Put the blame on us. I thought this was a nice change, because in the original game, it makes it look like your bomb blows up the reactor. But I like that in this game, it's like, no, they're eco-terrorists, but they didn't want to cause... I think they even mentioned in the dialogue, like, our bomb shouldn't have done that much damage in the original game. Like, it shouldn't have done all that. Yeah. Because, of course... Barrett doesn't want to hurt people. Like, he doesn't want to hurt the common people. He thinks it's just the corporation that's a dick. Yeah. So it's nice that they kind of put that in there to be like, yeah, Shinra is doing it, because they're going to put blame on you. Yeah. Because I was like, that, that scorpion did more damage than our bomb. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure that's the end of the demo. It's like, I feel like we could have just hit There might be, thing. like, a room or two left, but... Like, we could have just hit the reactor and did more damage than that bomb. <laughs> This is the end of the demo. They make you run that little bit. Can I walk? If I couldn't, believe me, you'd be the first to know. Well then get up and walk. I'll take that as a yes. We don't need to have a conversation about whether you can walk or not. The whole thing's falling apart. See? If we hadn't have stopped that ten seconds of talk. Yeah, we'd be dead. I mean, fine. <laughs> okay, that Luckily I can do flips. Cool. Alright, come on. You're gonna get some tonight. <laughs> Cause look how big this fucking thing is. Yeah. You know, just the entire, uh... Yeah. Our bomb did not do that. No, no, I'm pretty sure our bomb did. Yep, totally. So here's like flashes of cutscenes for what's coming up next. Ah, oh, Aerith. Or Aerith, depending on. I'm not sure which version they went with for the name. Guys, I just got the flower. <laughs> what are you trying to shoot me for? Ah, it's so pretty. Yeah. And all that's just from when you run away. Like, they didn't even expand on what happens after. So good. I'm so excited. That game it comes out April 10th, I want to say, is the new release date. It'll be here before you know it. I've already got it pre-ordered, so this is, you know, this is what they do. Yeah. They did it for Final Fantasy XV, too. But it's so good. I'm excited. But that's the Final Fantasy uh, VII Remake demo. Yeah. It looks like it'll be a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. And, you know, this the AI could be a little bit better once the actual uh, game comes out. I'm sure. Out. I think they already said there's going to be, like, a day one patch. I don't know if the AI's in it, but I think they already said there's, like, a, a patch going through. Yeah, which is... I mean, it's to the modern gaming today. Yeah. 
But anyway, let us know down in the comments what you guys think of the Final Fantasy VII Remake demo. Are you guys excited? Uh, are you looking forward to it like I am? And hopefully we'll see you guys here in a month when we sit down to play it. Bye, everybody. Bye.